Routine screening of the head for lice should be completed at least once a month. To begin your screening, you will need a well-lit area, a comb to help part the hair, and optionally clips to hold the hair back. Divide the hair into sections and concentrate on the areas lice like best. One way to do this is to part the hair down the middle and then divide each of those sections in half. Pin back each part. Part the hair repeatedly into thin rows until you have checked the entire head one section at a time. Look closely behind the ears and at the nape of the neck, which is where you most likely to find lice eggs, which are called nits. The female lays teardropped shaped eggs and attaches them directly to the hair shaft close to the scalp. This is what nits look like in the hair. If you suspect you have found a nit, gently tap it with your comb. If it falls away from the hair shaft, it is not a knit. Knits are firmly glued to the hair and are not movable with tapping. As you are dividing the hair, look for live bugs. They are hard to spot and if you see them, they most likely will be running away from the light. Adults are the size of a sesame seed and they are tan to grayish white. If you're unsure if your child has lice or not, ask someone to help. Your child's doctor or the school nurse can help you figure out if your child has an active infestation. Don't panic if you find nits or a live bug. This is a treatable and common community issue. Lice aren't dangerous, they're just a nuisance. How your family chooses to treat the lice is completely up to you. Unless resistance has been found in your community, the American Academy of Pediatricians and the Centers for Disease Control recommend that you use an over-the-counter pediculicide, which means lice killing, shampoo for the treatment of head lice, followed by careful combing with a metal knit comb. The shampoo kills only live lice, so knits must be removed from the hair. Always follow the product instructions. Metal combs with stiff teeth and narrow slots between the teeth will effectively remove or crush the knits, while plastic combs tend to skip over the knits and are not as effective. Comb through the wet hair with a knit comb to remove dead or dying lice and to remove knits from the hair. The hair should be parted into small sections about the width of the knit comb. The hair sections should be combed at an angle close to the scalp. Make sure the knit comb is slid all the way off the end of the hair strand to remove the knits. Comb the section again in a different direction to remove any lice you missed. Wipe the comb on a wet paper towel between combings to clean out the teeth of the comb. Work systematically through the hair on the entire head. Pin back areas of hair that have already been combed as you continue. Comb through wet hair every two to three days to remove lice or nits that were left behind after treatment. If you do not wish to use a pediculicide, consider the manual removal of lice and nits without the shampoo. Use the same careful technique as after a lice shampoo. A hair conditioner in this case will help to slow the live lice down and make the combing easier. Another option is to seek the help of a professional lice removal service who will remove the lice and nits from the hair for you. Lastly, treatment with prescription shampoo may be recommended by your child's pediatrician if resistance to available over-the-counter products have been proven in the community or when efforts on your own do not work. Home remedies have not been studied for effectiveness. There is no scientific evidence that supports home remedies as a way to get rid of lice. Friends who your child has had close contact with should be notified if your child has an active infestation. Your doctor can also help you decide which course of treatment to use. The school nurse or the health aide can help answer your questions and keep track of the incidence of lice in the school. They can check your child or other children for lice if needed. To be proactive, stay vigilant. Check your family's hair once a month at a minimum and after sleepovers and playdates, or if you notice them scratching. Stay informed. Knowledge is power. The more you know about lice, the less scary it becomes, and the better you are able to manage lice should it occur in your families.